YouTubers. What's going on? And all you Mojo diehards. Uh, today we're going to do uh, the Firestarter Raviolis. Uh, this is from one of the channels on my site that I recommend. You know, the recommended channels. I've talked about him in my Ultimate Shoutouts where I go through each person that's on my recommended list. This particular gentleman, Seussaville, he's more kind of the outdoors, camping, some bushcraft stuff. Uh, he, he, and he's more in this area, like the New York um, Northeast area. And he's done so many videos, I've always enjoyed his videos. And he always adds information on things that like I'm going to show you right now. Uh, he's he hasn't been doing that many videos as of late. I think he's really busy, and we all can share in that, including myself. I barely get videos out as is with my job. Um, hopefully that's going to change where I can consistently, weekly, at least come up with one or two videos on this channel. I'm trying. Because uh, I actually enjoy this. You know, I enjoy sharing what, I, what I'm learning with you guys and sharing different parts of my life. So... Anyway, let's uh, get into this, you know, otherwise I'm going to go into one of my mojo uh, talking forever 20 minuteers, and we're not going to do that. Alright, let's go. Okay, things you're going to need uh, for this little project of ours. A uh, cheap pot, because you don't want to ruin anything you have. Uh, some wax paper, some tongs. Uh, you're going to need some cotton rounds, such like so. And some cotton balls and last but not least your ordinary little water cap from a water bottle or whatever uh, all these items, the tongue, the uh, wax paper and this pot I got for 10 bucks at the dollar store and the other ingredient which you can't really get or at least no, I didn't know where to get it at any of the stores uh, is gel wax which I bought from uh, this company, Cajuns Candle and Soap Making Supplies. And uh, they ship me for about 30 bucks a big hunk of the candle gel wax, which we're going to melt in our pot. And that will be what will uh, cover our little fire starters. All right, all right, let's begin. The gel. Uh, wax, it's pretty much like jello gelatin, that's really what it is. Watch it, we go. So, we're gonna throw that in there and uh, heat it up. And I'm gonna prepare my wax paper over here, have it ready to go. Alright, so get your uh, paper out, you're gonna lay it out close to your pot. Obviously, not too close for you cause a little fire, but if you're a prepper, you should have your fire extinguisher ready. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, let's get serious here. It's a serious business. We're making fire starters, but we don't want to start fires. So I gotta bring that back a little bit. All right, so you lay out all your prepared items and you're gonna rip the uh, cotton ball in half so it's gonna be able to pretty much fit in the middle there. And then you're gonna cover it up like so. Uh, but we'll get to that when we melt this wax down and start uh, trying this out. Okay, so we uh, got it sufficient melted and you're going to take your uh, dollar store tongs tong you're going to fully saturate them in the wax really good you want to try to do this pretty quick And take your next one, put it in there. Like so. 
so. And you want to get your uh, cap. a bigger uh, cap. Just kind of do that. Kind of push down the edges a little bit. That's all there is to it. This is kind of what they look like once they're done. And you get, I cut a little bit too much gel on there, but um, and I'll test them out. See how they are. A little later. All right. All right. So we're gonna check, test this out. Um, it's raining a little bit, and you could use a lighter if you want or whatever. But uh, I'm gonna use some fire steel. This is the bag that you guys will be seeing soon when I go over the get home bag. This is actually my get home bag. So you're seeing a sneaky peeky view. Pull knife out. It's the Air Grills one. This one will be replaced though. I've heard some bad things about this and seen some bad things on this knife. And I'll still keep it for what it's worth, but I'm not going to trust it. Especially if I'm in a real bad situation. Alright, so you pull up the center. So the cotton is, is being seen, right? So we're going to try to get this to catch a spark. You know, it's of course raining right on me. So we're going to try it in the rain. And you pull. Let the cotton, we'll see how this uh, catches. Look at that. See, so it acts like a candle. And uh, that's really cool. I'm pretty psyched. <laughs> so Sousaville came up with this. And I mean, look at this. Look at the burn you're gonna get with this. And you got your uh, cotton ball in the middle there. And I think the, um, the pads that I got, I have to get ones that aren't as fluffy. The ones I got were really fluffy, so it was a real pain in the neck to make. But, um, yeah. That's just using the fire steel here. And, uh, the Bear Grylls knife. And it's actually raining on me, so. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Pretty psyched. Very, very cool. So these will go into all my bug out bags, every single one of these. Um, and they're supposed to be pretty much waterproof.